for that nice introduction. I would want you to uh, focus for let's say five minutes. Albert Einstein said, knowledge is limited, but imagination encircles the world and beyond. Medicine as we practice is actually based on conjecture and it keeps on improving by the related murders that happen. Need not necessarily of the patient, but of the person who is delivering it also. The rigor of scientific experiment, its results, new discoveries, research, methodology, these used to be supreme in medical science also for a long time, till the world witnessed world wars, one and two in quick succession. There was no medical reason for it or an explanation for it. But if you think a little bit more, was there not a reason, a medical reason behind it? That is when so-called Western medicine or modern medicine began embracing humanity and arts to rejuvenate, restore and redefine itself. Coming to the modern time, now you see we have technology, development, we talk in terms of energy and its flow or flux and its cost. We have intelligent networks and systems which would take care. It may substitute, if not enhance the capabilities of the human interface. We have self-organizing and performing nanobots and gene edits, which are biocompatible and can be put for therapeutic and diagnostic purposes. We hear all this and it is now. The future is actually now. However, there is a, a caution which must be there in young minds as well as in old that bereft of humanity or the concern for the human being, it is a free fall. I would just highlight one more. Our circumstances within our socio-cultural national situation, we have a strong residual presence, I would say, still of the indigenous systems of healthcare practices, delivery and practitioners. We can choose at this point to reinvent the wheel, go through the technology development insurance protocol and then suffer the deterioration, integrate humanities as short system modules or uh, student modules so that the future doctor or the people who are going to practice healthcare delivery system will have an integration at multiple levels of literature, arts, philosophy, medicine, healthcare therapeutics, physiotherapy, nanotechnology, distance diagnostics. In that, I would just give one or two examples in that when the Mars rover had been launched by the US, the they had a brainstorming session to which I had also been a party where they devised something called a statistical model of Chernoff facies, which was used for pediatric intensive care wherein faces will be colored or made depending on the biological variables of the patient. Now the patient would be in the east coast of the US, doesn't matter, the healthcare provider would be in the west coast and through that he or she would be able to decide the path of treatment and follow-up to be taken by the child in future. With that, I would just thank. Jodi apanoko amma video ti bhalla gila. Tebe amma channel ko like, share, or subscribe karipaku jama bhi bolon